Tonight, a rare and refreshing look at bipartisanship on Capitol Hill. After the historic and rather chaotic ouster of House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, I spoke with Republican Mike Lawler from New York and Democrat Josh Gottheimer from New Jersey. Politically, they can't often agree about lunch, but they're bent on trying to work together without vitriol from across the aisle. And they're in a congressional group called Problem Solvers. Here's part of my con conservation and conversation as well. Why in the world, and a lot of Americans are just saying this, so I'm sort of trying to reflect that. Why in the world did, did the House of Representatives adjourn for the week rather than get, get, stay there and keep on working on how to solve these problems? I think it was necessary yeah. uh, to, to separate for a little bit, uh, lest there, there be actual um, you know, uh, anger and, and frustration that, that manifests itself differently than just words. Um, and, I, and I think, uh, you know, we, we have been having conversations. There's been a bunch of meetings with prospective uh, candidates uh, going on uh, since uh, Wednesday. So, you know, uh, we, uh, we will be back on Monday uh, to meet as a conference. Uh, probably have uh, a festivus airing of the grievances uh, and then focus our, our effort and energy on uh, selecting a speaker uh, yeah. and, and getting back to, to work. Like literally the night of the vote, I believe Mike and I were on the phone and I was on the phone with other members of the caucus working on making sure we prevent a shut, another shutdown and what we need to do and also changing the rules and talking about moving forward. So even if we're not sitting in Washington. I haven't stopped talking to Mike. I think uh, there's a, hasn't a day hasn't gone by since I've been talking to him and working on issues for the country and for the people and people we both represent. Right. Uh, no, let's talk. No let's, question. Go ahead. No question. I think just to just to put a fine point on that, yeah. the reality is uh, in order for this country to move forward, we, we are in a divided government and we are all going to have to find ways to work together. Uh, exactly. Josh has been a, a, a strong leader. He's somebody that uh, him and I, we've talked quite a bit over the last nine months and worked together on a number of issues. And we're all going to have to find a way forward to make sure that we're governing this country and governing it uh, in the right way. A Republican and a Democrat speaking to each other and talking daily. You can see my full conversation on Up Close this morning at 11, this Sunday morning, I should say at 11, right here on Channel 7 Eyewitness News.